How's it? Today is July 11th, Monday. Um, it's a snatch day. It is interesting day. Um, so I talked to Steve a little bit over text, and the instructions were to either go up um, and wait from last week, or add in an entire extra rep on the hang power snatch. So I was already doing triples last week, and this is, you know, I would have done 74 sets of one plus four if I if I decided to go up in reps, uh, keep the same weight. Obviously, I selected to, elected to, go up in weight. I just think um, sets of four, sets of five. Uh, a bit excessive. I don't think. I mean, I don't think I would struggle necessarily with it. I just feel like that it would just be a lot more tiring than I wanted it to be. So, just kind of keeping the same rep scheme from last week, of course, like I mentioned. Um, there's not a lot to say about today. I think as far as everything goes, I was just vibing with uh, David. Nobody else was at the gym today. Um, so we're listening to a lot of local music, uh, island music. Uh, so that made me just feel like um, happy, you know. I don't know. Um, yeah, I am really dreading kind of going up in weight, and we'll see. We'll see what happens if I have to do this next week. Um, I do think that I can power snatch 80 for triples um i'm not sure if i can do triples from the hang uh but in any case that is a story for next week uh yeah this is my last warm-up set here honestly uh with a lot of these sets i'm really just thinking about two things don't fuck up my back and pull so I'm not really thinking about too much of technique, this stuff here. I really should be, because I think that if my, if I have good positioning, so all of my first reps are pretty, pretty solid. But if I have good positioning from right here, from right here, then the reps become easy. Uh, if I get lazy, or if I get sloppy, if I get tired, all of these three things, oh, they're all very closely tied together. Sloppy is lazy tired is gonna result in sloppiness you know uh, if if any of those things kind of creep into the way I'm lifting then the hang is arguably not productive because it becomes um, it gets so far away from the actual position that I normally have to hit for the snatch but um, I don't miss any of them today and, and I think that uh, it's it's a good feeling, I guess. I don't know. It's pretty light. I I don't expect to miss at uh, this weight. Um. Yeah. Uh, after that, I do my snatch pulls here, and then I do my um snatch push press plus overhead squat. So three plus ones. So I do three threes pulls, and then three plus ones on the uh, overhead work. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not too worried about uh, those other ones. I believe it's just like at 85 and then 85 again. Yeah, you can see how much I'm sweating here. I am just doing my best to get through the, the workout. I mean, not rush, but have quality reps and everything. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm struggling. Struggling because I'm just sweating so much. Look at me. A little freaking bronze statue. A, a pale bronze statue, but a bronze statue. It's my last set. I think uh, moving forward, if I'm able to keep my chest on top of the bar, so bend at my knees first and then hinge at my hip instead of what I did there, the positioning from the start of the hang is significantly better and so I'm able to uh, 
get quality reps. I guess more reps that are closer to the actual lift. So uh, that's something that's going to definitely be important moving forward. After that, I did some snatch pulls here. Again, like I mentioned. This is a weight that I believe I could power snatch for one or two. So it doesn't... It's not really something that I, I have to too much think about. But I do think that I should focus more on the start position. I think this is something that I always say for snatch pulls. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. You see there, from the ground, I... I'm not exactly where I want to be. I'm not quite um, locked in. First one is probably the closest to being locked in, and then all the other ones kind of... I, I am dynamically moving through the range of motion, which is typically how I lift, but I think if I am better set at the beginning, because that's something that I can control a lot easier, then the lifts of, or the movement following the start position should be easier. It should be better. It should be higher quality. Whatever. Um, snatch push press overhead squat again. 85. Nothing too serious here. Uh, overall, my back is feeling fine. So that like lower back, that I guess mid back, like TL junction area. That's I was dealt with. You know, um, like two Saturdays ago. So three Saturdays ago, I don't even remember at this point, but it it's not really affecting my snatches for sure. It you know it did flare up with back squats, but um, I'm not doing either of those things today. And as far as like intensity goes, I'm not uh, pushing to the point where I feel like it would hurt. You know? Yeah. And then um, a couple different angles. Just uh, for Becca. <laughs> um, she didn't like this one too much. But the other one, pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, afterwards, I finished off with some my classic Monday pull-ups and GHD sit-ups. Uh, pretty good workout today, I think. Just kind of moving, you know, moving a lot and sweating a lot. It's Which is uh, something I think um, some people don't appreciate as much as I do. I honestly enjoy lifting when it's hot because I feel like I'm working harder and it feels like uh, my joints feel better. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. Or maybe it's just the way I, I lifted or I grew up lifting. So, yeah. Not too much else to say about today. So, that's it for what? Uh, that's it for it. Thank you for watching. Shoots.